Hi, I'm going to be talking today about IB's CAS, which is the creativity, activity and service part of IB. I'm going to explain what CAS is. I'm going to give you some ideas about how to complete CAS and some tips about some of the experiences uh, that you may like to um, may like to try, such as possibly skydiving here. So first of all, um, to give you an overview of CAS, generally it's a series of experiences that you choose generally what they're going to be. Uh, you complete them and then you think back about how they've affected you, what you've achieved, um, any, any obstacles you've overcome. It's also a requirement for the IB diploma that you have to complete CAS. There are no points available for CAS. Uh, it's a non-academic thing, but you do have to complete CAS regardless of how many points you achieve. Some of CAS's aims are these, really, to give you a chance to have to do some special special opportunities to, to get out there and do some new experiences, to push yourself out of your comfort zone and try something new. Um, it also asks you to develop certain skills. Um, planning is one of the big ones, leadership, um, time management, preparing experiences, um, actually doing them. And then afterwards, a big part of it is actually sitting back and thinking, well, how did that go? Did I achieve what I wanted to? If not, why not? Uh, what could I do differently next time? Um, show some kind of outcome and some kind of personal learning that you've achieved from doing those experiences. In addition, CAS should help you to become more active, caring and responsible, um, which obviously are good qualities in general. Uh, but also when you're looking to apply for university, it can be very good to pull CAS out and start talking about some of the non-academic things that you've did while you were studying IB. Uh, it's also worth remembering that there has to be some, quite, some sort of improvement or outcome when you're completing CAS. So just doing something on its own isn't really enough. Um, certainly if it's something that you've done for years and you're just continuing to do it as you join IB, that's not really CAS. You'd have to go beyond that and extend yourself somehow. This is generally a breakdown of what CAS is. It's a mixture of experiences, lots of different experiences based around the C, the A and the S. And then in addition to that, there's one single project that you have to complete. So to go through these then, um, the creative part, uh, this could be to do with the arts, um, such as music, drama, singing, could be making an infographic to raise awareness about something, um, anything where you're making something. Active is more about doing something, something that generally makes you sweat. So some kind of physical activity. So playing chess, not really an activity or active, um, but camping or learning a new physical sport, then yes, that would count. And then service is obviously helping others and your community. So fundraising, doing volunteer work for a charity, um, and also doing work within your own school, uh, that may also count as service. So those are all experiences. In addition to that, um, you also have to do a CAS project and that will last about about a month. So for that, there's a lot more planning involved, probably some collaboration. And there are some specific rules uh, about the project that your CAS coordinator can help you with. So in terms of completing CAS, what do you need to do to actually complete it? Well, there's two things, really. The first thing are, is to complete three interviews, uh, initial, middle and final interviews. Um, and there's all, these are all really reflective. You'll get a series of questions that you need to answer. Um, and that's really it. Uh, you just need to complete it. There's, you're not graded or anything like that on the quality of your answers. Um, there's also seven learning outcomes. So you have to meet the each of these once to complete CAS. And as you do each experience and each thing, um, you'll, you'll say which of the learning outcomes you have met. And um, seven doesn't sound a lot. In reality, you'll do many of those many, many times. Um, some of them you may only do a few times but you've got to meet each one once to finish CAS and then also to get your IB diploma. Okay, so a few things are not CAS. Um, something that just doesn't have an outcome. Um, there's no, tan no obvious reason for doing it. Something you get paid for is not allowed. Uh, something political is also not allowed. Something that just is a general chore that you just expected to do, such as go walk the dog. Uh, that doesn't really count. Um, and it's also not something you can rush through in the first couple of months. It has to last at 18 months. Um, some students uh, want to race through and focus on the academic. 
that's not really in the spirit of IB. The idea is that you do a little bit often, um, usually once a week, something like that. You look at CAS, uh, and then over 18 months, you, you build up a portfolio of things you've done. So it's not something you should look to uh, race through and finish too early. Because ultimately, it is the fun, it's really one of the most fun, exciting parts of doing IB and what makes IB stand out from other programs. So you need to um, plan and complete several things for CAS. Uh, they need, the activities need to be real ones with an actual purpose and a real outcome. Uh, they should challenge you a little bit. Um, there certainly should be something that requires an element of planning before you do it. And then also something that gives you a chance to look back afterwards and review and think what you've achieved or have you achieved what you hope to. It should be something that gives you um, a chance to have reflections um, and also personal learning. Think about how you're developing as a young person. Now you need to have a balance between the C, the A and the S. Um, sometimes students have a lot of A, a lot of activities, um, and not much of perhaps C or vice versa, the other way around. Uh, so make sure you have, you're aware that you need a balance between the two, between the three. And it could be that one experience covers two of those. It could, one experience could be creative, um, and an activity and that, that's okay. As I said, it has to be, yet to count, it has to be something that you can reflect on, uh, for each of those experiences. And also overall at the end, it's worth looking back and thinking, um, what did I hope to achieve when I started doing this? And have I actually achieved it at the, at the end of the program? It's not just a, a box ticking exercise. Um, it should be a lot more than that. And very often when, when I've talked to students who finished IB, um, often they will say, oh, uh, CAS was the, the most rewarding, interesting part of, um, all of their studies, all of the program. So these are the seven learning outcomes that you need to hit to complete CAS. I won't go through all of them. Um, you can pause the screen now if you want to have a look. They're all quite general. And as I said, when you're doing an experience, it may be that you have one or two of these under the same experience. Uh, you're not going to have all seven under one experience. So don't try to do the kind of carpet bombing approach where you hit all of them in one go. Um, that Those kind of experiences generally won't get approved by your coordinator. So do think a little bit about what you're aiming to do for each one. Uh, this is a reflection cycle that students tend to use. Um, it gives you a plan, a kind of um, framework to plan from. So generally you'll start with an investigation. Think about what am I into? What do I want to achieve? How am I going to do it? Um, and then that leads you into preparing and planning. Uh, so how are you going to do this? What time do you need? Um, do you need help with this? Do you need to collaborate? Then you actually do the experience, the action part of it. Um, while keeping some evidence, maybe take some photos or videos. And then afterwards you sit back and reflect, well, how did that go? Um, and also demonstrate through those videos and photos that you have achieved something. Um, finally, this is the, the generally how it, how it looks. Um, you start with a proposal saying, what do you plan to do? What is the thing you'd like to achieve? Then you move into actually doing it and recording evidence about what you've done. And then lastly, you sit back and reflect and say what you actually achieved, what you've, what you've learned from, from completing that experience. And if you do that often enough, regularly enough, that is CAS. Um, and you should enjoy hopefully the process. Okay. Thanks very much.